Time to hit you with a one-two color combo punch by showing you several complimentary color pairings by Sherwin-Williams. Today I'm gonna to go over three sets of color pairings that I'm super into right now, and I'll also explain what makes them complimentary and how to best use them. I love complimentary colors because they're super dynamic, fun, and engaging, but it's important to know the principles behind them and how to best use them in your home. Every single color has a complimentary paired color, even the most neutral, basic off-white. But typically, when we think of complementary colors, especially in the design world, we usually think of extremely bright, vibrant, saturated tones that are a lot of fun, but sometimes tricky to manage. Today's pairings fit into that dynamic category, but I wanna talk about them in a way that won't completely overwhelm your space. The way you do that is to use them carefully and sparingly. The colors that we're going to go over today aren't going to be your main wall colors but they'll be more so your accent colors within the space against more traditionally safe main colors. What does this all mean? Well, maybe you paint your walls grayish, or maybe a light taupe or even an off-white, and then you use the paired colors in the form of your accent wall or your throw pillows, niches, picture frames, furniture, you get the idea. We do this so it's easier for you to adjust and change things up in the future because instead of repainting the entire room, maybe you just need to switch out a few items. The nice thing about complementary colors is they will naturally have some cool or warm aspects collectively, so the neutral color that's working alongside it can be pretty varied. You can go cool gray, warm gray, beigey, grayzy, whatever. <laughs> just pick a starting neutral main color that you really like and it has an appropriate level of depth or darkness for your interior lighting and then build your accent color pairing on top of that. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the first complementary color pairing, blue and yellow. Here's another fun thing too. We're working with the color hues, blue and yellow, but where you can start to tweak and customize the pairing for yourself is by adjusting the tints, tones, and shades within that hue. If you don't know what those are, we did a color theory video earlier on that you can check out. So let's start with the beautiful deep navy blue called indigo, which is clearly a mega dark color with an LRV of only six. This is a color that I've actually seen used on walls quite often in accent rooms. Not so much individual accent walls, however. It's a color that is actually quite nice to envelop a space in, but the end result is extremely dramatic and dynamic. For a much more low-key implementation of this color, that's when you can use it as a little accent touch here and there in the form of decorations throughout your room, or if it's in a kitchen, maybe just the kitchen island or the bottom half. You're still allowing it to be more of an accent rather than the main feature. If you were to go and find the exact opposite color on the color wheel, you would have to go pretty dark as well in the yellow direction which leaves you with a pretty muddy looking dark Dijon mustard with actually quite a bit of green within it. Not a bad pairing whatsoever, but I tend to opt for something that's more apparent in its yellow aspect. And the color is called Rustic City. Rustic City is quite a bit lighter than Indigo with an LRV of 35, but it still remains just as dramatic based on its emphasis on yellow. And that's probably the most intense color hue there is. Yellow is just pure energy. It introduces a nice little mix of yellow, a touch of orange, gold, and a little bit of green, which complements Indigo beautifully. This sort of pairing gives me vibes of King Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. Super luxurious. I had a huge interest in ancient Egypt growing up, so that image is very, very apparent in my brain. The next pairing is in the red and teal category, although I opted for a slightly lighter grouping of colors. The red that we're going with is actually a tint of red, which gives it a sort of powdery coral effect, and it comes in at an LRV of 41. This color is called Charisma, <laughs> That's why I like it, because, you know, I'm charismatic, apparently. This is just a great name for a color, just to start off. And it's fairly middle-of-the-road LRV, still feels bright and saturated, but at the same time has a bit of lightness to it as well. That's why I like it. Colors that aren't too dark can sometimes be used a little more freely, and Charisma just fits into this mold. The teal or turquoise color that I want to pair it alongside is even lighter with an LRV of 47, and the color is called Rapture Blue. Now, using these colors heavy-handedly in the same area might only be appropriate for play areas, maybe? <laughs> But when you utilize them selectively in smaller doses, they can really add a beautiful, easygoing energy to a space. This pairing will definitely catch your eye, but 
not out of disgust or judgment. It just feels fun to me. But if you're looking for luxury, perhaps a slightly more chic color pairing, well, not to toot my own horn, but it's similar to what I'm using in this space right now. The colors aren't identical because I picked Benjamin Moore colors for this space. And then I found the complementary colors in some pillows that I ordered and some cute little flower pots as well. But at least it can give you an example of the different ways you can incorporate these pairings. All right, let's just get into it. The pairing is green and purple, more specifically red leaning magenta purple. The green that we're going with is very deep and dark. It has an LRV of nine, but I absolutely love it. It's called Vogue Green. Remember I said it was chic? Vogue. <laughs> it's a beautifully deep color that has a somewhat pesto-y warmth, which essentially is just a touch of yellow added into the green. And that really allows it to brighten up beautifully in highly lit environments. I just find dark greens to be such a nice alternative to slight gray or navy blue or even deep purple. This color does a great job at complementing more warmer neutrals. If you like a more comfortable overall feel and not the uber contemporary modern feel of a cooler gray, you gotta go with green. Now I mentioned that purple is a good color pairing option. So what I did was I opted for Dynamo. It was really the perfect color to infuse purple with red, which you can see both in these Highland Cow pillows. Aren't these guys cute? <laughs> I was honestly so happy to find this because I wanted to convey my fiance's Scottish heritage, but also go with a color scheme that works. Very complimentary to the green. It was just that pop of color that I needed to complete the overall package because I started with a lighter base for the walls and then I incorporated that beautiful deep forest green as an accent wall. And just to counterbalance it, we had these pillows and the little flower pots as well. That's how these color combo videos work. Even though I'm giving you paint colors, you can always incorporate these color palettes outside of paint as well in the form of all your wonderful accessories in the space. Which color pairing was your favorite? Let me know down below. Okay, see ya.